Hello. Uh, thanks for dropping by today. Um, we just want to, uh, if we can, introduce our new honing guide. Um, in the 1930s and 40s, Eclipse produced this guide here. Um, it's a very clever design, side clamping guide. It had the ability to hold plane blades to a certain size and also hold chisels and a second set of jaws underneath. Um, it was a very good design, uh, cast in uh, aluminium, um, it, it seems. Um, then that nice tool was copied in, in, in Taiwan and there's plenty of these around. I've used them for years or tried to use them. We often would file these, the faces down a bit because they would hump a bit when you tightened up a, um, a belly, when you tighten up a plane blade. We'd, so we'd file these down, we'd file the chisel jaw in there to make them a bit um, better shape to try and improve it. Um, often these wheels would jam up because they're uh, just uh, regular iron. Um, not stainless, so it was a it was a not a bad tool, but quite an average tool at the same time. Uh, we were able to get the the part components of these uh, from Taiwan, so we mach remachined them and then reassembled them, giving it a decent um, uh, chisel um, jaws and cleaned out the top and took took out the um, the uh, the belly issue, belling issue in the front here uh, at the top here. Sorry and uh, just made them a better tool, um, put on a different knob etc and that was quite a good tool. Uh, then we moved on again and ended up casting our own tools, our own honing guide and uh, this went through two or three iterations until we've arrived at today's honing guide which is now produced in manganese bronze. Um, this honing guide is certainly a, a more solid and a larger honing guide than the original ones. It uh, weighs um, 340 grams or 12 ounces. It's got a stainless steel roller with a bronze bush inside that, stainless steel circlip, stainless steel threads, uh, brass and manganese bronze. So this is not going to uh, have any issues with the um, environment for sharpening which is as you know has got grit and water and uh, it needs protection. So um, this tool has been, uh, the improvement, main improvements of this tool is that we've um, been able to machine these in pairs on the CNC machine in pairs so that they are drilled and machined together so when they're, when they're put together uh, with the uh, threads and etc and uh, there's a support rods um, uh, which are press fit into this body um, everything lines up perfectly so we've got square chisels square plane blades um, to the roller which is really important of course we need to have that edge square to the side so that's what we're trying to achieve here and we've done that and it's also the, the better quality machining has certainly made this a very nice tool to actually use it's nice and smooth silky movement in and out um, I've increased the uh, roller to 15 mil from 12 mil width wise um, which makes it um, still able to um, uh, put different pressures left or right to take to, if you want to put a curve on your blade to stop um, you know tram lines when you're planning you can still do that with this width roller but at the same time being a bit wider it's got less um, chance of making a, a solid sort of a furrow or groove in, in, in your water stone. So it's just a little improvements all around, but it's a very nice tool. Um, certainly it, 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 the plane blade and it sit, plane blades sit on top and their range is 32 mil up to 70 mil. So it take any sort of plane blade. Uh, plane blades less than 32 mil can be held in the chisel um, uh, clamps underneath and on top of that clamp in between is a smaller set of jaws for really thin chisels like this one here. Um, this one range, that this jaw ranges are from 6 mil up to 12 mil so quarter inch is our smallest chisel for that one there and the chisel jaws in between uh, range from 8 mil to 45 mil 
So they, all of those different uh, jaws overlap each other, so there's no reason why you can't fit uh, any chisel, bent chisel or plane blade uh, in these jaws. If you've got a very wide chisel like this guy here, it's a two inch chisel, um, that can easily be held in the plane blade um, uh, jaws on top. Away you go, no problem. So this is a, a versatile tool. It, it comes um, alongside our uh, angle setting jig which has 10 different uh, measurements uh, for, for, for this, for this um, honing guide. They've got some um, screws on the back which make it just so you can hold it against the bench and then your hands, are, both hands are free to set the, set the uh, angle. You set the angle by adjusting the length that this blade extends from the tool. So a, a longer blade will certainly, um, a longer extension will be a shallower um, angle on here and a shorter one makes the um, uh, angle the, um, higher. So the different um, angles that this will um, accommodate are between 20 degrees and 50 degrees. So that's a very broad range. Um, so that's basically our, our new hunting guide. We're very happy with it. We think it's a very solid tool. Um, certainly it's an important part of any woodworker's uh, toolkit we believe and um, we uh, thank you for having a look at our new tool today.